In modern military history, one shot, one kill was one secret only for the highly trained sniper, the hidden assassin who sows fear among enemy ranks from afar. Not anymore, the army wants to build a rifle scope and optic system that will never miss and will turn every infantry soldier into an expert rifleman no matter how much they actually suck as a marksman. Okay, perhaps that's a bit dramatic, but it's the focus of a batch of optics and targeting programs currently underway at the Army's Armament Research, Development and Engineering Center or ARDEC at the Picatinny Arsenal in New Jersey. And this is no moonshot project, branch officials expect to start testing a new fire control system on the next generation squad weapon the one and all solution to replace the M4 carbine and M249 squad automatic weapon within the next three years. Speaking at the Association of the U.S. Army Innovators Corner on October 10, Ardex Darren Ward detailed several programs currently in development by the Arsenal's Optics and Targeting Center. They include, the Small Arms Weapon and Fire Control Device, which utilizes a specialized laser that Army Times described as a combination of a laser range finder, long wave infrared camera and video camera while running off 6 AA batteries to stay locked on specific targets downrange, automatically adjusting a rifle to compensate for recoil and other external forces. The rifle integrated optics, which functions like a heads-up display embedded inside a conventional rifle scope. It enhances the view, increases hit probability, reduces time to engage and increases target recognition, per army times which sounds a bit like this. The advanced small arms ballistic system, which miniaturizes the positioning system and rangefinder typically used on army artillery pieces, so they can be used on the standard infantry rifle. It includes a digital database for ammo calibers that, based on Ward's description, sounds ripped right from a military sci-fi flick. The Precision Optical Wind System, developed in conjunction with Sandia National Laboratories, which uses a multi-laser rangefinder system to estimate wind speed and compensate rifle positioning accordingly. No more licking your finger like some sort of goon to get a feel for the breeze. None of these systems are ready for a close-up just yet. Ward told also attendees that the small arms weapon and fire control device is too bulky and unwieldy to fix even an M249 at the moment, and the rifle integrated optic still hasn't been ruggedized just yet. But Army watchers got a preview of sorts last May, when Ardek unveiled an M4 mounted in a special auto-aim rig during the Pentagon's lab day, we're trying to attack the problem of aim error. When you want to hit a target, you have to take into account the weapon. The ammo, the environments in the shooter, Ardek researcher Terence Rice said at the time. And given the fact that we're using sensors, computers and hardware, we can engage targets faster now. What this concept does is reduce aim error and engage targets quicker. The week before Ardek rolled out its unusual M4 rig, rifle grew in retired Army Major General Robert Scales testified before the Senate Armed Services Committee on May 17 that revolutionary advances in computer miniaturization now allow precision to be squeezed into a rifle sight more than any other time in modern military history.